All right, welcome back to the channel. Now we're gonna do Dutch and Burn. I'm gonna teach you how to give highlights and shadows to the skin. So let's go into Photoshop. We have this portrait that we already have. The skin, very, very nice and clean. Um, she has a great makeup. It's a great makeup. Um, she did it herself, I think. Mm. But let me show you, when we edit a portrait, we want to enhance the makeup. You're gonna try to follow these steps. Your goal is to achieve highlighting the highlights and marking the shadows. So it's very simple. Let me make a, an extra layer over here so I can just show you without destroying my portrait. So highlights, very simple. You're going to follow the light in the picture. So you can see the, the, the nose has light in the middle. So you're going to paint. This is what we're gonna do, we're gonna paint um, over the highlights, the forehead in the middle most of the times, or sometimes, sometimes it's on the side. You're just gonna find where the light is. On the cheeks, you're gonna go like that. On the chin, you're gonna go like this. Sometimes you can even do small parts of the face, like around the lips, on the lips as well. You can do above the eyes. You can also do in these areas over here. So that will be for the highlights. Now with the low lights, it's exactly the same thing. With the low lights, you're gonna go around the highlights. For example, on the sides of the forehead. I'll show you like right here. Now for under the cheeks, the cheekbones, you're gonna be like kind of a draw, draw a line from the, the ear down to the lips. This is the um, direction of the shadows in the in the makeup so you're gonna go like from here to here of course in, if in the portrait you cannot see the ear you're not gonna like create a shadow over the hair so you're gonna like go like this and go like that okay you can even hit a little bit the edge of the jawline and that will be pretty much for the shadows on the face all right so now Let's go to how to do it. You make a new layer, you change the blending mode to overlay, then you go to edit, edit, you're gonna go to fill, 50% gray, and here you have your first layer. You're going to duplicate it, Control J or Command J, and this one you're gonna call it Dutch. And this one is gonna be called Burn. If you want to do it, it's alright. If you don't want to do, to do it, it's also alright. I do it just uh, to keep an order and for you to see clearly what I'm doing. So in Dutch, you're gonna go get really close to the face. I always like to start with the highlights. So you're gonna go here in the tool panel. We have this tool which is called the burn tool. And if you right click on it, we have the Dutch tool here. Or if, if in your panel you have the Dutch tool, you can right click and find the Dutch and the burn tool. We're gonna start with the Dutch tool. Dutch tool, we're gonna use a 5% exposure in the mid tones, all right? You're gonna make the size small, so it's pretty much the same size of the, of the light. And you're gonna just paint down along the light one time. Then you make it a little bigger and you paint above that and then you make it a little bigger and then you paint above that. You are constructing the light. If you have a light beam, the center of the light beam is always brighter than the edges. So you cannot just make one line and, and create light. You have to create the light from small lines, overlapping those lines, making it bigger every time. So you're building the light from very bright in the middle to fading a little bit on the sides. So once that you have done the, the nose, you're gonna zoom out and you're gonna work on the cheeks, all right? Make the size of the tool of the brush, pretty much the size of the light that you see there and do one step, one pass, it will be like one and two, okay? Then we make it a little bigger, one, two. Then we make it a little bigger, one and two. Okay, now we're gonna go to the chin, make it the size of the light that you see there, pretty much is around this size, you want to pass, make it bigger, 
another pass, make it bigger, another pass, make it bigger, all right? We're gonna zoom in the forehead, and we're gonna do one pass, make it bigger, another pass, make it bigger, and another pass. And you can uh, do it above the eyes, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video. You can go, go a couple passes over there. Also in this part of the eyes, just a little bit to give some shiny to it. Little, little, little light. Beautiful. Also above the lips. A couple passes over there. And you can even increase the brightness of, of the lips and make it look bigger if you create light that will give dimension and it's gonna look amazing all right so now that we have the highlights in the face we're gonna go to the effect we're gonna turn it on and off and we can see what we did now another thing is that you need to blend it even more so you double click here and you're gonna find this uh, window open and you're gonna press alt and keep it pressed and then click on this triangle right here and that will separate the triangle and now you're gonna touch one of the sides of the triangle, the inner side, and you're gonna drag it down like this. And this is, what this is gonna do is that this is gonna take what you did and it's gonna fade it even more. So it creates a more natural look. And then you hit okay. And once again, click on and off. If you feel that like you did it too much, like it's too obvious how you brushed it, then you go to opacity and you lower it down to 80 or 70%. I always do it, I always, I've been doing this for years. But I always, after I did the Dutch and Burn, I always blend it a little more and then lower the opacity. Okay, so lower the opacity like 77%, that's cool. Now we're gonna go to Burn, same thing. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna start with the Burn tool at 3% of exposure, okay? Um, and you're gonna work on the nose, on the sides, a couple times under the nose. Then you can just zoom out make it bigger and work on the sides of the forehead to create more depth. And same thing, you're gonna go like that, remember? The jawline as well, around the light that you just painted. And then you can go down here. You can even accentuate a little bit her makeup. And the lower part of the nose these sides over here and the lips you can even work around them to make it look more beautiful all right now that you did the burn same thing double click over here but instead of touching this triangle you're gonna want to touch this one press and and keep it alt option press and hold alt option option and then just click over here separate this triangle and then drag it to the right once again, this is gonna mix it, blend the colors, fade them, and um, it's gonna give you a more natural look. And click on and off to see what you did, and reduce a little bit the opacity, all right? And then you can just zoom out. Let's mix these um, layers. So you're gonna click on Burn, press Command-E, and that's gonna fuse it to the lower layer, and then click on Dutch, press Command-E, and it's gonna fuse it to the lower layer. Let's get closer and let's see what we did. The before is this, and this is the after. So by doing this, you just accentuated the makeup on the portrait and you get some more depth and some more, just enhance it, the makeup, and it looks so good. It's, a, it's like day and night. All right, so with this, we complete the tutorial about the skin. Now it's time to see the before and after of all these four steps that we have been doing in these videos. Let's see. This will be the before and this is the after. So now we have achieved not only a perfect looking skin, it's also a very realistic skin where the persons who see this are gonna say, wow, she has a beautiful skin. Wow, um, it looks like a professional photo uh, portrait. Sorry. They're gonna say it looks like a professional portrait, um, but it doesn't look over edited. And that's what we are trying to achieve. Please do not over edit your photos, your portraits, because that's just gonna make it look so fake. And it doesn't look anymore like a skin or like a human skin. We want her to look in her best skin day. 
all right i hope you liked it if you liked it don't forget to click the like button don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and leave me a comment below telling me what you think about this technique and what you think about all these uh, series of videos about retouching the skin that we have been doing all right have a good day and keep the good vibe